Hey guys, today I want to show you our newest adventure. Uh, my wife and I decided to buy a Class A motorhome, and uh, that's it. We bought a we we bought an older one because we didn't want to spend a ton of money. You can spend a fortune on these things. We didn't want to spend a ton of money and then decide we were never going to use it or something like that, uh, which that's happened before with other things. So that's why we went this route. But um, bought one. It's a '99. Um, it's got 55,000 miles on it, and it is a Monica, Monaco La Palma 34-footer, and it's actually about 34 tenths. It's about 35 feet. It's a 99 Monica, I keep getting mixed up here. It's a 99 Monaco La Palma 34, and it's about 35 feet long. It measures almost 12 feet tall with the air conditioners on top, and um, it is a it's a full Class A motorhome. We went down to Indianapolis last weekend and uh, bought it, and we took a three, four hour journey home in it for the first time, which was a blast. We took the kids with us. Uh, it was just a fun little um, quick trip, and we got to buy a new RV and drive home in it, so we had a blast. Let me show you a little bit about it. it uh, it's got an awning here on the side. I believe it's a 20-foot awning. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't measured it. Um, it is a gas motor coach with a Ford V10 in it. It's on a Ford chassis. It's the F, uh, I believe it's a 35. It's either 35 or 53, but I think it's a 35. Um, I'm probably, I might be getting those numbers mixed up. Um, it does have one slide on it, and I believe it is a 14-foot slide uh, the slide is the living room on the left side and the kitchen is on the right side and I'll take you inside and show you more there is an awning on top of the slide and uh, it's got power heated mirrors on it um, got the big 19 and a half inch tires um, this is uh, basement storage in the first compartment the second compartment uh, I believe the third compartment is still basement storage. And then when we get over to this guy, we have a 5,500 watt Generac generator. I don't know if you can see that with the sun. And we have already put quite a few hours on the generator. We got home last weekend and it was a long Labor Day weekend and we spent uh, the majority of the weekend out here cleaning and going through the whole thing and just seeing you know what kind of things we need to do to add our little touch to it and fix and um, you know all that fun stuff so uh, we had the generator running most of the time because as of right now I don't have a 50 amp plug or outlet set up for it that's on my list of things to do I uh, just haven't gotten around to it um, back here is our um, this is where you're going to bring water in and is where you're going to drain your black and gray water tanks. Um, all of our basement storage have lights in them as well, which is really nice. And what made me think about that is there's a switch in here where I can turn the basement lights on. There's also a switch inside to do that. Um, but uh, this is where your water pump will be and your uh, access if you're going to do winterization and things like that will be here as well. And a lot of this I've not even touched yet. I'm going off of what I've been told and I've watched uh, my handful of YouTube videos as well to try to learn some of this. Um, this is our water heater compartment up here. And then back here is where you will plug. There's your 25, I believe it's a 25 foot cord. I haven't measured it. That's what I was told. And um, your transfer switch is right there on the sidewall. And then, um, oh, this box on the left side. I can't tell you exactly what it is at the moment. Uh, but it has something to do with the batteries uh, in the camper as well. And then that is your coax and your phone jack right there on the left-hand side. And I believe that's where, if you were to pull into a campsite that offered cable or phone, you would just plug it in there, or maybe Ethernet. Um, you would plug it in there, and then that would transfer to the coax and phone jacks or cable jacks or whatever inside the coach. Um, so trying to remember what that is it might be like a power inverter I think that might be what it takes the uh, I don't know what it is 
I'll just quit talking about it. Um, we have a backup camera on the back of our coach. Up on the roof, we have two air conditioned units. And um, now, this side basically, we have basement storage in the back and right behind the wheel. There's our gas tank. And then over here, we have propane behind this compartment and our spare tire. I believe that's a 27 gallon propane tank. This little compartment here, somebody has tried to rig something up um, back in the day. That thing actually slides out. I don't know, maybe if you want to watch a football game or something, but I think that TV right there looks like it's from 1970. And uh, the other one's not much newer, I don't think. So, But there is an outlet out here, so if you want to plug stuff in from outside. Um, and there's phone and coax right there as well, or Ethernet. Again, I'm not sure exactly how everything's running here. I'm still learning. Um, and then there's another basement storage there. Uh, I'll take you inside. We do have the power step. Welcome to our coach. This is, um, again, as I said, it's about 35 feet long. There's our sofa, which is a jackknife sofa, so it, it flips out into a sleeping bed um we have full kitchen we really like the monaco because it had some upgrades things that you don't find in other coaches um from what we understand what we've read and what we've heard and talked to other people it was kind of the, the monaco's built a very nice coach and they always have i think they've been around since 1968 and um they kind of do some things above and beyond like it has oak cabinetry solid oak cabinet doors raised panels um, it has solid surface countertops, so this is like a Corian. Um, there's your sink right there. It does not have a faucet at the moment because I took it out last weekend and I bought a new one and I just have not had a chance to put it in yet. That's something I might do tomorrow. Um, there's the other one, cutting board on the back side of the, uh, of the sink covers. And then you have your stove, which has a Corian top on top of it to give you more countertop space when you don't need to use your range top, uh, which is really cool. Got a full microwave. Um, they put the mirrors back here just to give you some more, uh, makes it feel a little roomier. My wife's already started moving some things in, I guess. Uh, this would be like a little spice cabinet, probably. Uh, it's pretty narrow. It's part of the slide. So the slide actually goes from right here and it goes all the way up to right here behind the driver's seat. And that whole thing pushes out, and I would say it's probably about a two-foot slide. Now, I've got all the blinds pulled down right now just to keep the UV rays from coming in and um, discoloring things. We're going to put a cover on the RV, but we have not gotten around. I haven't ordered, I have not ordered one yet. So right now we have the nightshades down just to block light, so it's pretty dark in here. Uh, this is your dinette area. Uh, you can fit two... Uh, adults in each booth and then this table actually lowers down and sits on a couple of cleats and then it becomes a bed the cushions come together and it becomes a bed you got storage space underneath of both booths um, all the seats have seat belts uh, this booth right here does not that one has two seat belts that chair right there has a seat belt and the sofa has three seat belts as well um, cabinetry uh, above the the driving area. Um, got an old tube TV up there, which I'm sure at some point we'll probably replace with a, a flat screen. But for now, we don't really anticipate watching a ton of TV in this thing anyway. Uh, we're going to start doing some road tripping with the kids, and um, you know, we want them looking out the windows, not not watching TV. Uh, and then when we're camping and stuff, you know, we'll be in here to sleep. And if it's raining out or something, but other than that, we we don't plan to spend a ton of time inside the coach. Uh, when we're camping so this is your driving area the curtain pulls all the way around um, to block give you some privacy I guess when you're when you're in here uh, sleeping getting ready for bed whatever the case is changing your clothes um, you got your stereo as I said it has a backup camera 
which this is the monitor for that right there and it's pretty cool um, you know even my modern day uh, f-350 has a backup camera which is very nice but you can't see it unless you're in reverse with this you can either see it when you put it in reverse or you can push a button and you can have it on all the time which is pretty cool that way if you're towing something or if you got somebody you know riding your bumper or whatever you can kind of see what's going on behind you um, has a leveling jack system right here and your little level so you can see if you're level when you're putting your jacks down um, somebody had put a surround sound system in here prior to us getting it and that's why you see these speakers around which they're not in the greatest of shape we're gonna probably pull them out and replace them or I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do at this point um, it does have the nice leather uh, flex steel uh, coach or captain and co-captain seats this is a six-way power seat unfortunately my wife does not get the power seat but I don't think that's going to be an issue they're very comfortable uh, big comfortable nice chairs and I'm gonna tell you what when you're riding in this thing down the road it's it's a whole new world I've, I've I pull trailers um, I drive a big truck and I've got a I mean I've got an f-450 which is a big truck but when you get behind the wheel or something like this that's this tall with windshields this big you it's a completely different world and it's actually pretty stressful the first time that you drive down the road and you're on the highway in a construction zone with a semi on one side of you and orange cones on the other it's um, it's a little it's a little intense but uh, just in the three four hours that we traveled in it you know I think we put 225 miles on this thing or something since we got it and um, just driving home by the time I got you know halfway home I was already feeling that much more comfortable driving it so um, you get used to it it's like anything else uh, you got more cabinetry uh, this chair will swivel as well as slide forward and backwards uh, there's a shade over top of that door too which is cool so you can block the light uh, again you get your air conditioner in the ceiling here fluorescent light you got a speaker up here in the ceiling and there this is a satellite antenna that'll go up if you want to use like direct TV or dish network this is a uh, just a regular TV antenna for just regular digital TV like uh, HD TV um, HD TV uh, not HG TV um, these are your ducts so it's an air conditioner with a it's a ducted system so the air doesn't blow out of here this is just a return the air is actually ducted through the ceiling and it blows out of these vents throughout the coach um, the regular light fixture there again nice nice cabinetry um, here you have your freezer your Norcold freezer and uh, the refrigerator and freezer will run on both propane or electric so when we're driving down the road we can if we want to have the generator on the generator will run the air condition units in here they'll run all the lights all the outlets the kids could plug in uh, laptops or iPads or anything they want if their batteries are dying they can charge from a regular outlet in the wall um, anything you want to do uh, my wife could come back here and make me a cup of coffee while we're driving down the road if we have the generator going and she has that power now if you don't have the generator on and you just want to use batteries to power this it'll run the lights and I think that's about it uh, the battery will run the lights and I believe the battery is needed for the refrigerator to run on propane but the refrigerator will run on propane or the generator and then all of the lights will either run all the lights and all the other major electrical components will run on the generator or if you plug it into the wall uh, or if you're at a campsite and you plug in um, but you can still get lights and whatnot just from the batteries uh, in the coach um, and we can start the generator from right inside right inside the, the RV here so that's that um, back here we got a little nook area which is just kinda cool we've kinda said this might be our charging station for phones and iPads um, and that kinda thing it's got uh, just a uh, got a little countertop and cabinet above it and while we're back here you can open this door and this leads you into the bathroom the bathroom actually has a decent sized shower for a camper um, for a motor coach I was pretty impressed with that and I can get in there and stand I can actually sit down in that tub and it's not horribly uncomfortable it actually has a porcelain toilet just like your toilet in your house it's not a plastic one like some campers have um, you got more solid surface countertops 
in the bathroom here. And I think we've already ordered a new shower head. I think we're gonna go ahead and order a new faucet for that bathroom as well. Um, just to just to clean the place up a little bit and make it a little bit more modern. Um, this is where you'll check your uh, the level of your tanks and the battery charge. I can turn my water pump on my water heater from there. Um, we have a fan up there. It's kind of cool. You just open that up and push that red button and then the fan blows and it sucks everything out. Um, so it's just like an exhaust fan in your bathroom. So it's actually a pretty roomy bathroom. Not bad at all. And going back in here, I forgot, this is a fantastic fan. And that's what the guy told me when we were buying this. And I thought, man, you really like this fan, huh? And he goes, no, the brand is Fantastic Fan. And I thought, oh, that's funny. But I think they're, I think he told me they're guaranteed for life. And um, you, you open the top up again, and then it has, in, you can go in or out with the fan. So it'll either suck the air out or push the air in, depending on what you're after. And it has three speeds. So a pretty cool deal right there. Um, you keep coming back through here. This is our bedroom suite and we really like this coach because the bed is turned sideways a lot of them are front to back and you don't get quite as much storage in them for whatever reason but when they lay them out like this you seem to get a little more room so we have a queen size mattress back here and i don't think it's an rv queen i think it's a full size queen uh, we already measured it um, you do have storage underneath the bed if you want it which i'm sure we'll use it our water heater is located back there. I showed you it from outside. This is how you get to it from inside. Um, and then you got countertop on both sides to set your glass of water or your, your phone or whatever you need to. Um, got more storage up above. Another air conditioning unit back here. Both air conditioners have their own thermostats, so I can have it a little colder back here than I do up front, which is convenient uh, when we're sleeping. If I want it cold and the kids don't or whatever. Um, you have two more speakers back here in the ceiling. Somebody has added a flat screen up here. The TV used to be in that upper cabinet right there. That's the way it came from the factory. But uh, somebody has reworked it over to here, and we still have to clean up the wires, and that kind of thing bugs me, so I'll, I'll go out of my way to fix that. But uh, you got lights back here. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome uh, when you get set up in here at nighttime. Um, it's, it's super bright. You don't even need all the lights that you have. Um, this is a full-size closet. It actually has a hanging bar. You can hang all your clothes in here. You get all these drawers. And then, if you look at the other side, you actually have all this deep storage compartments. And then you got a couple of drawers down at the bottom. I know it's hard to see because it's kind of dark in here. But I didn't. I want to turn the generator on right now. So, um, this is our... This is our coach. So I think we're gonna try to shoot some videos while we're on some of our adventures and, and running down the road and driving this thing. Um, I've kind of gotten wrapped up myself in watching some of the other people out there and their RV adventures. And it's just kind of a, a cool lifestyle. Now I know we're not gonna try to live in our RV. I know there's a lot of people doing that and it's really popular. Um, I run a business locally and I unfortunately can't run my business from the road as much as I'd like to. So I've got to be local for that. Um, but we are going to, you know, try to do as much training or traveling as we can. Um, now that we got our new, uh, mobile home here, uh, we can run right down the road and have the comforts of home. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, we're excited. Got to get it cleaned up. We're trying to find a good weekend to go try it out for the first time. Uh, that's a challenge right now. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. And like our video. Subscribe to my page. And that way you can get updates when we post new videos. And uh, as we get this thing cleaned up and ready to roll, we've already got a ton of stuff that we've purchased for this. Uh, it's like buying a house. you got to buy dishes and, and silverware and... Uh, just all the kitchen stuff that you have in your house you have to buy for out here too you gotta buy bedding uh, there's just a ton of stuff to think about as well as your camping your typical camping stuff flashlights and uh, you know your, just all kinds of stuff there's there's tons of stuff to think of and I'm sure we're gonna forget stuff and we're gonna be camping and we're gonna wish we had something and we'll put it in here next time so um, anyway that's it I guess ask me questions if you have them and uh, we'll see you on the next one have a great day